Hello, I'm Roman, and in ST, I'm following a very cool part of today embedded applications, which graphic loose interfaces definitely are. I'm very excited to demonstrate for you quickly how the STM32 products and their ecosystem can enable you to implement smartphone-like looking GUIs in your own embedded applications. I love this picture, so let me start with that. It's a demonstration of great human engineering and fantastic example of how the human to machine interfaces, in short HMIs, evolved over the past few decades. Well, I guess that most of you are not developing next spaceship, but I'm sure that many of your own applications have a display and faced or will face a need to bring new level of HMI experience to your final customers. Before we'll go into the demo, let me highlight that myself and my colleagues and experts in GUIs and TouchGFX and graphics are available in the chat room to answer any of your questions. Therefore, use the opportunity to ask us now. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at what do we have here. Um, it's a collection of uh, different STM32 boards, uh, discovery kits and evaluation boards, uh, uh, typically running uh, on more advanced STM32s such as F7 or H7. Uh, but uh, the performance and the efficiency of uh, the graphic user interface is really nice. And in terms of user, uh, the feeling is really like uh, I am controlling uh, my mobile phone. And this is what we want to achieve at the end. We want to allow you to bring this uh, user experience of uh, working like with the mobile phone to your own applications. And what is new? The big news is this. So this is our new expansion board uh, called Xnucleo JFX 01M. And together with uh, the very well known uh, classical Nucleo 64 pins boards, uh, this allows you uh, to bring evaluation and development hardware platform combining this shield with the Nucleo board. All together with the optimized Xcute JFX package, uh, uh, running partial buffers and having small memory footprint, with this setup you can bring the, the same mobile phone user experience to even simple uh, graphic loose interfaces with a low cost budget. And this is exactly the need of many of our customers. And I use the opportunity that uh, Yeezy is here together with me. Yeezy is our expert for TouchJFX to ask him a few questions about this solution. Yeezy, I know that uh, you have used this platform recently to support one customer. Can you tell me how difficult it was? Yeah, thanks to ST Ecosystem, it is very easy to include TouchJFX solution to project because Cubemix can automatically in include TouchJFX library to application. It also generates file for TouchJFX designer and there you can easily modify graphical user interface. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So how long time uh, you spent to make the change from, I think it was a change from STM32 G0, G0 based project to L4 yes. based project? It takes only a few hours. Okay, so it was very simple. Perfect, thank you Yuri. So as you can see, um, it, it's really a matter of a uh, very short time to pour this solution to any STM32 of your choice. Thanks a lot. Great, so after we have seen the demo, Let's make a quick summary together of what you need when evaluating or developing your own graphic user interface. From hardware standpoint of view, with STM32 family, you can cover from simple GUIs up to the high-end ones, starting with STM32 entry levels like STM32 G0 up to the more advanced STM32s such as F7 or H7 lights. From tool standpoint of view, you have the very nice STM32 discovery kits or evaluation boards allowing you to make a quick evaluation or mock-up of your solution. Software-wise, you have the Xcube TouchFX package which offers you these advanced optimized graphical libraries together with all the tools such as TouchFX designer or generator. Documentation-wise, there is dedicated TouchFX documentation portal and engineer-to-engineer -engineer support channel on our community. Finally, in case you would need a support, with the development, there are a lot of implementer companies that can help you to make the job done. Overall, there is not only TouchJFX, so there are other solutions from other partners that have adapted STM32 to their own graphical stacks. So I recommend you to check those as well. And that's it. So thank you for your attention. I hope that it was inspirational for you 
and in order to continue with the evaluation and development steps on your site, I invite you to follow our existing materials and support links shared here in the resources tab or contact me and my colleagues directly in the chat room. Thanks a lot. Wishing all the best to you.